And then if they come again, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, like, did you try it? <laughs> Second submission is a voicemail. Let's go. Same old problem. Let's hear it. Hey, Jamie. Hi. So I have this friend or acquaintance, I guess. Uh, he's not super close, but he's a good friend. Anyways, so basically, um, he calls me to hang out every couple weeks or so, or mm. like a couple times every week. It just depends. To then about his problems. Um, and like sometimes he'll ask for my advice and sometimes he just needs to like vent. Mm -hmm. But the problem is he always has the same problem. Like it's, it's the same people, the same situation, oh. but like at different times over and over and over again. And it's getting to a point where like, I don't want to hear about it anymore. I hate that. When he asks for my advice, he never takes it. Like he'll be like, oh, that's really great advice. I'm going to use that. And then he never does. Mm. And then he comes back and that's about the same problem and I'm kind of just tired of hearing it and I'm tired of listening to him to a point of like when he calls like I kind of sometimes pretend that I don't get the call so but like it's getting to be a lot and mm. basically my question is like what would you do in that situation like would you just flat out say no I don't want to hear you talk like how, how would you do that in a nice way I guess because I don't want to like not be friends with him and it would be cool to hang out and still be friends. It's just that I don't want to hear the same problems like over and over. It's been yes. like two years now that he does this and it's always oh, the no. same thing. So anyways, love your podcast. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Um, just by hearing this has just stressed me out. Like, <laughs> cause yes, I have been through this um same experience. What I would say, get advice to my friend and then they wouldn't take it. And I'm just like, girl, like, why did you take it if you're not going to listen to it? Like, what's good? Um, and then they come back to me again and then start over the conversation again of what I've been experiencing for the last past couple of weeks. And I'm like, didn't you, didn't we talk about this like last week? And she's like, yeah, I, I tried it. And then it's again. I'm like, mm. um, because... He or she is my friend. Of course, I wouldn't be rude and be like, no, I'm not going to listen to it again. But then I would just keep it forward and be like, well, I've been giving you advices for the same reasons and the same situation. So I don't think I have more things to tell you. But remember, like, just think about it again of what I've been telling you. And then I, it's your choice eventually. So I hope you make the right choice. I think I'll just show them that I've given you much advice now. So it's your choice to make it. Let's put a number on it. How many times is too many times to ask the same I mean, question for advice? I mean, if it's the same advice? question and same situation and same person. Yeah. Three would be like a maximum limit for me. Because mm. I'd be like… Mm. <laughs> so the first time I'd be like… I'd be really like into the situation. And if I take advices or situations, I really like get like serious about it. Mm. So I talk to them for this like three hours and be like… Oh, and then they come up to me again and say the same thing. I'd be like, okay, like maybe you should try this. And then I give more options or help them out or hear them out. And then if they come again, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, like, did you try it? <laughs> okay, well, I don't know if that would work, but let's just try it again. And then if they come to me again, I'll be like, you know what? Eventually, you're not going to do it or it's going to be your choice. I can hear you out. But I'm not going to give you advices anymore. Mm. And I think it's straightforward because you've done this like a couple of times with the same person. And I don't think if this is going to like keep on going, I don't think that person is a good person to you or something like that. Yeah. And then I'll be like, I won't say like, don't tell me again. But I'll be like, if you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How um, are you with taking advice? Like, do you, are you kind of like, you just need to hear one good advice and then you really take it and use it? Or are you sometimes like, oh, I don't know. Or like, mm -hmm. I didn't really do what you said. Sorry. <laughs> I don't take advices. Do you even ask for it? No. I just tell the situation and then… You say what you're going to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or if that, if there's like something that um I'm not really sure and I want to be really careful about it I talk to my parents mm -hmm. and my parents doesn't give me like oh you should do this but they tell me 
how the other person or other people would feel like so that they make me understand of I shouldn't do this but maybe this. Yeah. So if there's something like a really big situation that you don't want to make mistakes of, parents, like for me, mom and dad is like the biggest key mm-hmm. to like ask. Hi guys, it's your girl Jamie. Did you like this episode? I hope you did. And if you want to listen to the whole episode, go on to your podcast and download it and hear me out. And on this YouTube, please subscribe and plus this notification on because I want to see you on time. See you guys with WWJD.